this is Tiff with Journal with Tiff. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today we'll, we'll be reviewing Fountain Pants from 2023. Clearly, I had a good time <laughs> enjoying my fountain pen journey this year. Um, and I just wanted to go over that, kind of recap all the pens that were purchased within this year and my thoughts on them. So this might be a little lengthy. Matter As a matter of fact, I know this is going to be a little lengthy. So grab a drink and let's talk about it. And um, here we go. Let's get started. The first pen is the Estabrook Esty in Tortoise. Lovely pen, very well known brand of Estabrook. Um, I honestly cannot remember what caused me to jump on the Estabrook bandwagon. I really don't remember. I do not remember how I came across this pen. Um, but once I had it, I was like, okay, first of all, I love a brown pen and a brown ink. You make it kind of pick that up as we're going through um, the pens here. Um, so when I saw the tortoise, um, I just really fell in love with it. I really liked it. And so I purchased this one, I think from Atlas Stationers. This is a medium nib. The only issue I have with this pen is when I go to turn it, I feel like the it's stripped here. Like if I just give just a little bit more pressure, it'll just keep spinning. So I um, am very careful with that now. And this is the only one that's ever happened uh, with, but I absolutely love Estabrook. I do really, really like um, the way they feel in hand. I do not have to post it. I mean, you can post them, but to me that really makes it long and back heavy. It's, it's not too heavy. I mean, I'm sure some people, um, do post them, but for me personally, the Estabrook is just perfect for my hand size. I feel like I kind of have medium size hands. They're not too small. They're not too big either. Um, but this medium nib, I think this may have been my first medium nib pen and it just writes really well, really smooth. I do like it. And yes, I would purchase it again. My next pen is the Platinum Custom 3776. And this was my very first Platinum pen. And yes, it is another tortoise. I'm gonna be honest, I do like the look, the darker contrast of this pen versus this one, but that's about the only way they are similar. They are different sizes. Um, I am able to hold this pen without uh, capping it. Again, it can be capped. But this is an, a, a beautiful pen and it writes, um, I would say in my opinion, a platinum. The writing experience is somewhere between a, mm, I'm gonna say between a pilot. It's between a pilot and a sailor, way closer to a pilot. It is scratchier, um, excuse me. Uh, there's more feedback, not scratchy, that's the wrong word. There is more feedback to this than a pilot. Um, not that, that's not a pilot. Um, but less than, I would say, is in a sailor, if that makes sense. If you've utilized both of them, you know that this one's kind of in between. This is a fine nib. It writes beautifully. Um, and I just could not get over the color, how the contrast, I just love, love, loved it. And I do still want this in calico um, before it's like a off, like a kind of a tannish beige color um, with the dark brown or black. I can't remember which it is. I'm still trying to get my hands on that one. But yes, I absolutely would purchase this one again. My next pen that I purchased in 23 is from Edison Pen Co. I purchased this at the Chicago Pen Show. I honestly, it was my very first pen show. I had never been to one. So it was really um, my chance just to kind of observe. I didn't know the etiquette. I was trying to do some research first and I did not come prepared to make a bunch of purchases. Um, and I really honestly, I honestly, honestly just wanted to look around. But 
I'm just looking and I go to their table and I see this lovely pin here. Look at that. Look, just look, 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 look. Just look at that. And when I saw it, I was just, I was really speechless. Um, there's the inscription there for Edison Pinko. I really like the fact that it's very small. It's not overpowering. Your eyes don't go to the name or brand name on this pen. So I do love, 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 love that. Um, it was tuned for me on site and this is uh, a wet fine. When I say this writes beautifully, this writes beautifully. I think, I think this is not, this is, a, I think it's a Yovo nib, um, but it has their own inscription on it. Let's see if I can get that. If you can see that, it's a really pretty, really beautiful nib. Um, don't hold me to it. I think they're Yovo nibs. Um, but this is a pen that I absolutely would purchase again. I would love to purchase more from them. It looks really small when compared to other pens size wise, but this one I do cap for that reason. Now I will admit that I kind of have to squeeze it on there, but it's never messed up the resin and it's not back heavy when I post it. So yes, I would purchase this pen again and again. My goal is to get myself, I want a coffee journal and this I feel like should be my coffee pen um, because just the swirls in it just remind me of coffee and cream. So I really want this to be my coffee pen for my coffee journal one day. Next, this is my first pen from Walltown Pens. Um, it was, I, when I saw this one online, I'd been wanting a pen, a custom turned pen. Um, and I saw this one and I'm going to be honest, initially I was, I was really, really happy when I got it, but now there's nothing wrong with the pen. It actually writes beautifully. I do not have to post it. There's not a huge step down. So it fits very comfortably in hand. Um, and this is, I think this is a fine nib. Um, I'm not as thrilled with the colors in the primary manipulation. Um, and this is just me with my taste having changed over time. Again, when I first got it, I was just enamored with it. And then the more I got other pens, I realized this is just a little bit out of my current comfort zone. So beautiful pen. I am thinking about rehoming this one. Um, Definitely will let you guys know if anyone is interested because it writes beautifully. Um, it is a cartridge converter pen, but it's just, I just, I don't know. The colors don't do it for me anymore. Now I have my Narwhal or Navlor Tromso in Northern Lights. I saw this pen online when they first came out with it and I was just amazed. I was blown away. And immediately went online to Atlas. I purchased a lot from Atlas. Um, and literally requested that I get a pen that had a little less of the white background. And they actually were able to accommodate. This is a piston field, so it has a good capacity. This is a medium nib. Um, my writing experience with this pen, generally speaking, is not as good as I would like. I feel like this needs to have a custom grind. Um, I do not have any pens custom ground at the moment. I have a few of him, a few here that I would like to have that done. I just keep talking about it and I haven't gotten it done yet. Um, but that my desire for custom grind, like maybe a fine cursive metallic, um, does not keep me from adoring the pen. It is so comfortable. It has an ink window. It is so comfortable to hold. It is a perfect size. It is beautiful to look at. And it's trimmed in rose gold. I love it. And yes, I would purchase this again. Next, I have a custom turned pen from Just Turnings. 
and um, this was a blank and I was able to choose uh, gold or silver trimmings and clip and uh, the finial and cap top and the nib color and it is another very comfortable pen. I realized when I started getting these custom uh, hand turned pens they are normally larger and this size is so comfortable. Let's see if we can get a better come on there we go picture of this and I'm not sure if it's going to pick up on camera well but the pearlescence of this is just gorgeous. It's almost kind of washed out on camera, but I can see peach and pink and uh, just it's just the pearl. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. I put, um, it does better with a wetter ink. Um, I think this is a, I need to clean this off. I think, um, is there ink in here? No, it's not. I just need to clean that nib off really good. Um, I do believe this is a medium nib, but this is a lovely pen, um, and I, I am really glad I purchased it. And just the color, it goes with so much because I am one that likes to match my inks to my pens. So, great purchase. Loved it from Just Turnings. Next, I purchased this from... That was Hogtown. This is F3 pens. I get them mixed up. Um, and this is their cool, cool toned uh, primary manipulation. And when I actually saw it online, I'm like, I saw it on their website. So when I sent in a message to purchase, um, they were like, yeah, we don't, that's not, we don't, we don't have that for sale. I'm like, but it's on your website. And they didn't realize it. So some kind of way they found a blank for me and just, I absolutely, I have no complaints about this pen. It is so beautiful. Um, just the colorway, I really was kind of shocked that I would want a pen with blue and red in it, but, and it's even got a little bit of purple in it. Um, actually, I think it's got more of a purpley, quite like a violet background than blue. I saw another one that I may want to purchase that was very, very similar, but you, the blue came out more than the purple. So I really, really, really did like that one. And I'm like, you don't need another pen, but hey, you never know. My next acquisition was the Twisby Diamond 580 in, I think this is Sunset Yellow. It's not really a yellow, it's more like a Burnt, not a burnt orange, but it's closer to orange, I feel like, than it is yellow. Maybe that's why it's called sunset yellow, because it does have that deep golden orange yellow tone that you would see in a sunset. It's trimmed in silver. This is a medium nib, and this is what has caused me to fall in love with the Diamond 580. Just like all Twisbees, it has a great filling capacity. It writes so smooth. I'm really impressed with uh, Twisby. Um, because for the price, they are wonderful pens. So I kind of have on my wish list um, the smoke and rose gold um, in the Diamond 580 as far as, as, as well as the white and rose gold and maybe a demonstrator as well. Would I repurchase? Yes, I would because I plan on purchasing more just like it. Next, I, re I uh, purchased this one. This was previously loved and this is the uh, Pilot... Oh, E95S. There we go. At some point, it's just hard to remember the names of all of these. I saw this because it just looked so... I mean, you see these pens everywhere. You know, you see other people online and every other places with these pens. And you're like, well, it's nice. It looks nice. But is it going to work for me? And I was really on the fence. But when I saw someone having it for sale for a pretty decent price, I decided to try it. This is in a fine nib. And my concern was because it was small. And as you can see, I'm kind of digging the larger pins, not large, but just a little bit bigger than this. Um, and I was really on the fence initially. This is a pen that you absolutely, I don't want to say you have to cap it. I have to cap it. This right here is just a little bit too short. Um, but my surprise is that even though this is smaller, I'm not sure what it is. 
Maybe it's bigger than I think it is. I don't know. But it's definitely smaller than these as far as diameter goes. But it is it is comfortable for me. Now, can I write two and three pages? No. No, I can't. But for the amount that I write on any normal given day, yes, this work this works fine for me. Um, it has a gold nib, um, hooded nib. And once it's posted, because it seems so small, you know, but once it's posted, it just turns into a regular size pen. Actually, it's longer than some others that I, um, like say maybe the uh, my Twisby Diamond Mini. I got that one uh, um, sometime last year, and I think it's longer than that one. So would I purchase this one again? Actually, I'm going to say no. I do like it. Um, I don't want to get rid of it, um, at least not right now. Um, but I think if I had it to do all over again, I probably would not. And I'm okay with that because to me, that's a part that's a part of the journey of trying out and testing to see what you like. Current state, I do use this pen. I, it writes beautifully. Um, but if it was a little bit girthier, I think I would enjoy it more. Then uh, for my birthday, I, this year I was able to snag this uh, white with, uh, what are they, what's the name of this one? I think it's white and pink gold is the name. I purchased it from Pensachi. And this is my first Sailor Pro Gear. And I will admit, I always heard that they had more feedback than other pens. Um, and you have to write with one to thoroughly understand what that means. So at first I was like, oh no, this is scratchy. I'm not going to like it. But then once I, and I realized that I had a really, really dry ink in here. So I put a little bit more of a lubricious ink in here. <laughs> I like that word. Um, and it wrote so much better. Was there feedback? Yes. Is it scratchy? No, it's not. Plus, I absolutely love the feel of the size of this pen. It's not too big, it's not too small, it's a really, really good size. And to me, sailors are just classic. They're very classic. I love the look of them. I would like to get another. There's a couple others that I would like to get. Um, I do wish the price point was just a little bit lower. Um, that's why I would prefer to order them from uh, Japan, directly from Japan. Um, otherwise they are just, the price is just, I don't want to say it's not worth it because the writing experience for me for a sailor is not quite as good as it is with a, uh, pilot, but I do love the pen. I am glad I purchased it. I probably will still purchase another sailor, but this is a beautiful pen and it writes, it writes great. Now for my second Esther Brooke. I, this is the Blue Nouveau, Nouveau Blue. Can't remember which way it goes. And it has the gold-plated steel nib. This is in a fine. And at first I was like, do I really want this one? I wasn't sure if I, if I was a fan of the colorway, you know? Um, I'm not too much into blues, you know? At least I didn't think I was. But then uh, someone had this for sale on a Facebook marketplace. Um, and I'm like, let's just try it. And then once I got it, I saw the, let's see, get a better picture. There's like browns and tans in the background. Um, and now I, I do, I do. I really, really like this pen. And when I, we know how Esther Brooks, right? Right. You know, I know I love how it feels in hand because I already have one. I know it writes well. So my only concern was, am I going to like the color and body of the pen? And I do. I do. So I am glad I purchased this and would uh, definitely purchase another Esther Brooke anyway. My beloved Pilot Custom 823, this is in the smoke. Um, I did purchase this one secondhand as well. I was a little disappointed when I first got it because I could not get the piston to come back. And I was literally on the verge of tears that I had purchased this pen secondhand and it, I didn't think it was going to work. Um, but I basically went on YouTube to figure out what was wrong with it and was able to fix it. Um, 
the this pen is just beautiful meaning i love 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 the way this pen writes i'm sure everyone has heard about pilots and how they are just buttery smooth well nobody lied to you um they do not need to be capped at least for me not capped excuse me posted it does not need to be posted um and there no pressure when writing with these no pressure is needed it just flows and I love to uh, ink this with uh, Pilot Orochizuku ink. It's the pen and the ink just goes so well together. Currently, well not currently, I have always had this pen inked with a uh, Tsukushi. And that is kind of my forever ink with this pen until I run out knowing that it is discontinued. So absolutely would purchase again. As a matter of fact, I have purchased again. Next is my Pelican M400 purchased this second hand and when I have seen I've seen so many other um, videos on this pen and just you know the beauty of them I fell in love with it and the tortoise this is the white tortoise I believe it's called um when after I received it I will admit it is smaller than I thought it was it's not as girthy it looked a little bit bigger I know a lot of people give their the measurements and the weights uh, when they do their reviews. I'll be honest, I kind of, I've never really weighed my pens to know um, or measured the diameter of my pens to really know exactly what my comfortable range is. Um, and I probably still won't do that, but this is just a little bit smaller than I had anticipated. I do enjoy writing with it. Um, I do not think I'll get rid of it anytime soon. It's just one of those that is not as girthy as I would like it, but it is a beautiful pen. Okay, now for my Ferris wheel press. This is the brush pen in black. When I first saw these pens, I was like, oh, that this, this pen in black is just so classy. I have got to have it. And it was out of stock. It's been out of stock forever. Every time I would go look for it, it's out of stock. And I am not able to snag it. Well, this year, boom, it shows up. So I immediately ordered it. And it's a beaut. If you are able to see the uh, brass portion here. My only problem is that it is a lot smaller than I had anticipated. If I were to compare this pen with my E95S, my E95S feels, it feels so much girthier. It really does. So I can write about half to three-fourths of a page with this pen before my hand starts to cramp up. Um, so... Uh, this is a, I think this may be the first pen that I can say right now I am willing to let go. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It writes. It, it's so smooth. Um, this is a fine nib. Yes, this is a fine nib. Um, it is so smooth and I really like the way it writes. I just, for my hands, it's just not comfortable. For anyone else, it's probably perfect and, um... They probably wouldn't have a problem with it at all. I feel like it is such a classy pen. It is so classy. Um, this pen, these pens you should not post because the nut on the cap can mess up the actual body of the pen. Um, it is long enough that if it was comfortable for me, I do not need to post it. Um, so that's a good thing. But it's just a little too thin for me and... If I had it to do all over again, I would not purchase this for that reason only. So this will be rehomed soon, I hope. Now for my Pilot uh, Vanishing Point or Pilot Capitalist. This is the green uh, trimmed in gold, the Taiwan uh, 30th edition. This is my first so far one and only Vanishing Point. Um, I did purchase it with a medium nib. Um, but was really wanting a fine nib, so I purchased a fine nib separately, and I cannot say enough about this pen. It is, it is gorgeous, 
and I was a little concerned. I'm like, everybody loves the vanishing point. Am I gonna like it? Am I gonna like the grip section? And I do. It is so comfortable. I don't have any problems with this and would 100% purchase another sometime in the near future, I do hope. Now we have the Pelican M800. How did I get this pen? It's beautiful. This is the black brown and uh, I love to watch Karina Loves to Plan. Um, if you've never seen her channel, please uh, check her out. She does wonderful videos and this was her latest grill pen. And honestly, I don't know what rock I was living under because I didn't know anything about this pen. I think I shared this story um, because this was in my last currently inked. Um, but when I saw this pen, I immediately started going online looking for it and just happened literally that day to find one, um, for a very, very good price on eBay. Um, I will admit that I really feel like this pen needs a custom grind. I would love a fine cursive italic in this pen. Um, the beauty is what gets me sometime. Um, this, the aesthetic of a pen is what... It's what just takes me overboard and I love a brown pen and this is just beautiful. It's very comfortable in hand. It does write well, but I am uh, desiring a custom uh, nib grind for this pen. Would I purchase again? Yes, I would. Here I have the Estabrook SD in Cobalt Blue and this is, I think it was a, a limited edition, special edition uh, SD. And I saw this online, I don't know when I saw it, um, but I kept trying to, at first I was like, mm, do I want this, do I not? I couldn't decide. And um, finally decided to grab it up and I'm glad I did. This is an X, so this is an extra fine, another Estabrook. So nothing more needs to be said. It writes beautifully, it's comfortable in hand. I just love looking at this pen. It almost looks like it's glowing. Just beautiful. Would definitely purchase uh, another Esther Brooke, without a doubt. And this is another hand-turned uh, custom pen. This one is from uh, Walltown Pens. I saw this pen and literally gasped, like literally stopped breathing for a second. And, and it's kind of weird because I looked at it and I'm like, oh, that's beautiful. And then like the next second, I'm like, wait a minute, it does have a lot going on. But then I looked at it again. I'm like, nope, nope, nope. It is beautiful. I adore the colors in it. And when I say this pen writes so good, um, it does. Um, Walltown pens, I actually dropped it like the very first day I was inking it up and bent the nib. And I contacted them and he immediately sent me an invoice and put another nib in the mail for me and I re that I received just a few days later. But um, please visit their site. They have great pens. So, do I like my uh, Pilot pens? Yes, I do. From Pensachi, I was able to snag. Um, this is their clear demonstrator uh, trimmed in gold with the black cap on and excuse me, black finials and the black grip section. I have not, I've not even inked this up for the first time. I just received this pen a couple of weeks ago. I've not inked it. I've not written with it, but it's, it's a Pilot Custom 823. I know exactly what I'm going to get with this pen and I still want the amber. Those, I think they, I think that's the only three colors it comes in. The smoke, uh, clear and black demonstrator and amber and knowing how I love a brown pen of course I've got to get the amber but this is just this pen to me was just so classy I've had my eyes on it and um, for Black Friday I'm like I just I need to go ahead and get this so I did order it and do plan on ordering the amber so yes I would order it again I was able to get my hands on an Estabrook SD this year. This is in Raven um, with the black nib. When this first came out, I was a little 
like, eh, why do I want a totally matte black pen, right? Although I do want to get the matte black in the vanishing point. Um, but that was my hold up for that too. Do I want just an all black matte pen? And after feeling this one, seeing this one, writing with this one, yes, I do want that uh, matte black vanishing point. And this pen is, I really like it. I love this black nib. This is an extra fine. And again, it's an Estabrook. They speak for themselves. And I had been on the hunt for the Estabrook SD in Emerald. It was also a special edition around the time that the Cobalt Blue came out, I believe. And I literally just missed the boat on it. No matter where I looked, I could not find it. I could not find that pen on eBay anywhere. But I came across a site that had, um, it's Kenro Industries and they make Esther Brooks. Um, and the gentleman I spoke with was like, well, we have the Camden in Evergreen. And I'm like, okay. So he sent me some pictures and I, I don't hear a lot about the Camden. Um, but honestly, it is the... It's basically the SD squared off on the ends. It's it's literally the SD squared off on the ends. And I I I adore this pen. I love the look. I love the color. The feel when I'm holding it here, I feel like I'm holding an SD. There is no difference to me. Now keep in mind this is not the Camden Jr. Please don't get um it confused with that one because the Camden Jr. is a pocket, more like a pocket pen. It's a smaller pen. Um, so I did get the Evergreen with the silver trim and I really enjoy it. And my last purchase for 2023 is the Twisby uh, Cream and Rose Gold. I got this in an extra fine. I think this is an extra fine. No, no, no. This is a fine nib. Um, and I'm going to be honest, I, at first I was like, do I want cream? I mean, it looked great in the picture, but do I want cream? And I do. I'm glad I got it. Um, it looks great with the black and rose gold Twisby that I had purchased in another, a different year. That's why it's not out here. Um, but I, it's a Twisby. Um, they're economical. They have great feeling capacity. And of course, I would purchase again. So I am so glad that you guys were stuck around with me, hopefully to the end, um, to review my uh, fountain pen purchases from 2023. I feel like I went a little overboard, but hey, everybody's got a hobby, right? Um, you have any thoughts, any input, definitely let me know. Let's talk about it. If you know of anyone that has any of the pens that I did say that I'm looking for for sale, I do not mind buying secondhand, so definitely hit a sister up and let her know. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and talk to you soon. Bye.